What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So as stated in my video yesterday, I have decided to go ahead and expand my Transformer statue collection. So I've made quite a few changes so we can go ahead and upgrade this collection, add additional pieces that are gonna make it look better. Now, one thing that's always, always been something I've wanted to do is finish the Transformer 1 cast. Uh, and that is Jazz, Ratchet, and Ironhide. Uh, that's the original Autobot team. You know, it's like having the original Mortal Kombat 1 cast, something I've always wanted, or just having the original team makes it extra special. So I want to do that. Now, for the Decepticons, I'm fine just having these three and locked down. Uh, so this is basically how it's going to look, though. I removed and put the bench here. Now, I still have plenty of space for working out safely, you know, and whatnot. There's still plenty of space to open the door. It does not hit anything. I put my air purifier there, my Alexa Echo Dot right there, and basically my bench set here. I removed the leg thing. I'll only attach that when I want to use it, uh, which isn't, you know, that often. I usually do legs at the gym. I only work out at home during uh, special circumstances, like there's a snowstorm or there's lockdown, or I simply am just way too lazy to go. So I mostly work out at the gym, of course, but I am happy I've gone ahead and done this. I think it's already looking amazing. So we moved Transformers 4 like this, and it looks freaking amazing. Uh, so got the posters above. I had some holes in the wall I had to clear up. So I just need to paint that, letting it dry overnight. Uh, I kept my Bruce Lee and It Man here with the poster, so I still have a little bit of a Bruce Lee cornerish. I can't fit my one third, obviously. That's gone in the main room inside a glass shelf. But we did uh, separate Optimus's head and Bumblebee, so it looks like that, uh, just so the shelf is empty and you can see it a little bit better. If there's any future MK Classic 1-4 skill statues, I will definitely, you know, clear these out and make way for MK Classic. Although it's pretty apparent that PCS is done making Mortal Kombat, so I have zero hope of that ever actually happening. But uh, this looks amazing. It looks really, really good. So I do like what I've done here. I've basically created about 60... Eight inches of width space. We're talking 22 inches there and 46 inches here. Now, Iron Hide Jazz and Ratchet is about 52 inches. So I'll have an extra, you know, several inches to spare to really make this look good. I thought about getting Sentinel Prime, but I he's 26 inches wide. So I don't think I could fit him. The only way I could truly fit him is if I did like jazz down there, like inside the stuva. I really don't want to put a full blown transformer down there. I don't like doing that. I want to keep everything top shelf. I don't mind doing it for those two, but like I wouldn't put my $1,200 Bumblebee grill inside the stuva. That's a special statue. It deserves top shelf space. And I want the entire team together so I don't think I'll be able to get Sentinel Prime, unfortunately. It just won't fit. Uh, so I, we'll see though. Once I get those three, if I have space somehow, then I'll definitely buy him. But I don't want it to look cluttered and look bad. I want this to look classy and look good. I don't mind if they're basically, you know, side to side like that. I think that looks fine because the bases are so big, it doesn't look like it's, you know, they're touching and it's too close. So it looks fine, but I do like to have them somewhat spaced. So we'll see once I get it, you know, I could definitely fit, you know, like Jazz there, Ratchet, Ironhide, and having Ironhide like angled this way and then have them equally spaced. I think that could look really good. Cause that's how I'd like to do it. Have one angled like this and then boom, boom. I think it's just gonna look phenomenal. I do need to install lighting in all these cubes. So I need to, get that installed. Most likely the easiest way will just be to get another Echo Alexa controlled device there and then get a light to fit at least just these four. I don't think that's necessary, but at least four lights. So boom, boom, boom. So it's all lit up when I tell Alexa to turn it on. So that's basically what's going on in this room. Uh, 
I'm quite happy with the results. I definitely think it was worth it. It's gonna look really good. I like the way Transformers 4 looks. I think it looks awesome. Thought about doing Grimlock right here, but I actually prefer them right there. I tested it having locked down to the left, but I really like them right there. It just looks so freaking awesome. Alexa, turn off the Transformer statue lights. So that's basically what's gone on here. Then we go to the movie statue room. There's a tiny update. Alexa, turn on movie statue room lights. So I've sold this. Uh, still a little uncertain if I'm going to sell that one. We'll see. I'm going to wall mount those two. And we still need to get her sold. Still need to sell Wonder Woman. I may have a buyer. We'll see. Uh, I'm still figuring out uh, a few things, but I did add some posters here uh, for Balrog. This is by Jerry Vanderbilt or whatever. Really cool looking poster. And these are all by the same artist. My smog one. This is one I just had here on the wall. I just took it out of the frame, put it there. And I just bought his Fell Beast one, which is actually from the exact scene that the Iron Studios has made. Uh, so I'm really excited to get that and move this put the fell beast bust and then we just wait for the iron studios fell beast diorama uh we need to figure out a spot for deadpool because like i said i really want to keep that statue because it still is just an absolute gem and i don't want to sell it so i want to figure out space somehow for that deadpool uh, i still do want to sell cable just because it's so comic-y and i'm a movie collector i mean that statue is freaking amazing don't get me wrong it's really good for a comic uh, but it is comic, like I said. I mean, Deadpool's technically comic as well, but you can he can pass off more for movie version, you know, because the costumes look the same. It's like Spider-Man. They look somewhat similar, so I can forgive the fact it's comic, where him, you know, you look at him, you think that's comic. So we do need to figure that out. We'll see. Uh, but... Things are coming along good. You know, I sold my Thanos on Throne, although the person didn't want the art print, so we're selling that separately now. Uh, $300 shipped for the exclusive art print. I do not need that now since I've sold Thanos on Throne. Uh, Thanos on Throne alone is going to be paying for almost all of the Transformer statues I'll be buying. I've already bought Ironhide. I'll be buying Jazz probably tomorrow and then Ratchet next. Uh, there'll be economy shipping from Prime One Studios just because it uh, is much cheaper, and I'm willing to wait the three months to get it. Uh, I'm not going to spend triple money to, on shipping to get it faster. Alexa, turn on home theater statue lights. I love that, by the way. So I've gone ahead and just put Bruce Lee right here. This is where I've put him. This is the only spot I can really fit him. So just right there, which I'm fine with considering this is like a, like I said, a damaged statue and whatnot. It leans, and but I think it works fine there. Uh, it works fine there, so I'm fine with that. Next big update is really going to be upgrading these shelving, moving out the two bestas, wall mounts and stuff. So I got a lot of work to do. It's going to turn out really good though. I'm liking these changes. I think it's going to be great. Jason Buss arrives Monday. Uh, that Wolverine and Iron Suit is Spider-Man. I sold locally. The guy's doing a payment plan, so that's why they're there. Just waiting for him to finish paint it. Then I'll box it up and let him come over and get it. But I'm really excited to get the Jason Bust. Uh, that's going to be freaking amazing. So that arrives Monday. Most likely, that'll be my next statue. Uh, anyways, folks, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.